Welcome. In this today's video, we will be discussing on Forex Reserves and several macroeconomic developments. To begin with, recently Central Bank has reported that external buffers reported a figure close to 6.5 billion USD. This year alone, CBSL has purchased 2.3 billion USD worth of forex from the market. This is the highest level of forex purchases Central Bank has made in a single year. In addition to market purchases, inflows from multilateral institutions such as IMF, World Bank and ADB have also supported this build-up process. As part of monetary policy framework, CBSL continue to maintain flexible exchange rate regime. On the fiscal front, there have been positive developments over the past two years. As we all have seen, substantial reductions noticed in the fiscal deficit and improvements in fiscal balance moving towards a primary surplus in the fiscal accounts. There has also been a significant increase in revenue mobilization. Another key development that has been the implementation of cost reflective pricing mechanism. This has eased the burden of financing for the treasury and reduced the need for direct financing of state-owned enterprises known as SOEs. Previously, banking sector was often required to finance loss-making SOEs. But this practice has now been addressed. There will be no more direct financing for SOEs to cover their losses. CBSL has asked commercial banks to reduce their exposure to SOEs, particularly their large exposures as stipulated in New Banking Act. CBSL has given SOEs time to adjust and the cost reflective pricing mechanism has been implemented to help them reduce their exposure to financial stress. Moving forward, these corporations should be able to mobilize financing from broader banking sector rather than relying solely on state-owned banks. This revenue-based Fiscal consolidation has proven effective and tax policy reforms are continuing in parallel. On the matter of external debt restructuring, after announcing the temporary debt standstill with the goal of restructuring sovereign debt obligations. Sri Lanka is now nearing final stages of completing external debt restructuring process. CBSL is confident that Sri Lanka will successfully complete this and provide necessary space for government to manage its external debt servicing obligations while also ensuring sufficient resources are available 
for spending on other priorities. This will create necessary fiscal space for the country to enter a sustainable growth trajectory over the next several years. In conclusion, building a stronger and resilient economy requires continued collective efforts of monetary authorities, fiscal authorities, other stakeholders including private and the public. Foundation for macroeconomic stability has already been strengthened and it is now time to focus on growth and development. The stability phase is almost complete and Sri Lanka should transit to the next phase that is one focused on enhancing growth and expanding country's capacity to grow. This will require implementation of critical structural reforms aimed at boosting country's long-term growth potential. For these efforts to succeed, it is crucial that the private sector and investors play an active role in driving sustainable and inclusive growth. It is also essential for maintaining country's debt servicing capacity and economic sustainability beyond IMF program which is scheduled to conclude in 2027. With that, we will be concluding. Thanks for watching.